Alright, here we go. Then has the Vitara 37 back again along with Eugene. We haven't done this in a while, folks. Late night game edge. Oops. There we go. Yeah, so far, second one, game eight, $87,000. So, how game eight? We'll do the trick. From the Sony Pictures Studio, this is Jeopardy! Hello, it's time for Jeopardy! Good luck to all our oh, players. Right. Let's take a look at the one one categories. Jeopardy well, one daily double. We've got some really interesting categories for you today. Here we go. Languages. One. Islands. Two. Hodgepodge. Ooh. International politics. Oh boy. Religion. Fashion. Player one, let's begin. Uh, hot pot for one. Ancient Greeks dated events from the first of these held in 776 BC. Calendar? No. Oh. The Olympics. Well, that makes All right, sense. Take Got the winner one coming in February. Two hundred. Name shared by a national monument in Arizona and a famous faithful Indian companion. Anybody? Here is the oh. response. Tonto. All right, pick again. Uh, let's try fashion for one. Shapes of these include clerical, wing, and shawl. A wing? Anybody? A circle? Oh. Alright, pick again. Last try islands for one. Now uninhabited, this country's Auckland Islands were once the site of a whaling station. Well, it's New Zealand. for two. It's the Italian island famous for its blue grotto. Where one? Why Sicily? No, that's incorrect. There's a lot of game left, so hang in there. Here is the correct response. Oh, Capri. Mm. I went to Long right, Island then. Let's try for three. Noted for their wildlife, these islands are also known as the Archipelago de Cologne. Where are three? The Galapagos. Sure? Oh, the Galapagos. Oh, that's right. three. It's your turn. The Galapagos Islands. The island. Charlottetown, the capital of this Canadian province, is named for the wife of King George the Third. Prince Edward Island, no. Oh, 
God damn it. What will it be, player three? Islands for five. It was the center of the Minoan civilization. I don't know. Player two? Crate? You are correct. Okay. Okay, player two. I didn't know that one. Legend for one. The uh -oh. person who is archbishop of this is the primate of all England. Minister? No. Here Canterbury. Player two, it's your turn. Oh boy. In December 1993, the Catholic Church agreed to establish diplomatic ties with this state, founded in 1948. Why? No. Israel. Duh. Your choice, player two. I think. Language is for one. In the 500s and 600s, it replaced Latin as the official language of the Byzantine Empire. Player three. To be sure. I was thinking of that. Oh my god. I didn't ring in for that one. It was great and I thought the of Kumba, it. The the chief representative of this dialect of Chinese, is based on the speech of Beijing. This dialect of Chinese. <laughs> Man, Mandarin. Yeah. Your choice, player three. Can you guess uh, language? <laughs> no. This language belongs to the Canaanite branch of the Northwest Semitic languages. Mm. Anybody? Hebrew. Okay, player three. Although Arabic is Tunisia's official language, this has the status of a second national language. Ruthenia? Anybody? French. Oh. It's your turn, player three. Sacre bleu. Geographically, it's the most widely spoken Germanic language. Polish? Anybody? Uh. Let's well, for two. Statues of foxes are found at the Enar shrines of this Japanese religion. Player one. Oh gosh. The game's. Uh, Shintoism? Yes, indeed. That Player was one. a guess, thank Player God. One. Okay. Religion for three. In Haitian folk belief, it's a soulless corpse reanimated by a boker or voodoo priest. It's voodoo doll. Here is the correct response. No, it's a zombie. Player one, you choose. Uh, let's keep going. In this religion, the god Shiva is often depicted as Nataraja, the cosmic dancer. Greek god? No. Hinduism. Okay. I didn't know that one. Player one, it's your turn. Yeah. And the Prince Edward Island? I should have rung in. Because I know it. In 1739, this Methodist wrote in his journal, I look upon all the world as my parish. Jesus Christ. John Wesley, okay. Oh, I didn't know that. Player one, you choose. Uh, international politics for two. In December 1994, Russia sent 40,000 troops into this breakaway republic. Anybody? Here is the correct response. Chat, Chat, Chat. Yeah. Your turn, player one. Chat, Chat. Oh gosh, let's try fashion for two. Chanel is credited with making these a fashion item. Lana Turner made them a trademark. Perfume. Here is the 
correct response. It was Redders. But feel it would have been better. Hodgepodge for three. This word comes from the Greek etymon, the meaning of a word from its origin, and logos, word. Etymology. Well, let me okay. one. They know about that one. 400 hodgepodge. This animal on Saskatchewan's flag stands for Great Britain. Fuck. Oh. The lion. Player one, you two. Son of a bitch. And I should know that. So I'm half British. Uh, fuck me. Ah! Then why did I go say that? And I was doing so well, and I just had to drop it. Finish. An Atlanta football player, or the middle a... name of explorer Robert Scott. Player one. I went in too, because Atlanta. It's the Falcon. That's it, exactly. It's the Falcon. All right. Cause okay. take a look at that way. Atlanta Falcons is a football team. Hey, Wobo. What's that? Nice. All right. International pol and we are in the lead by only a mere hundred. International politics three. In March 1995. She was removed from her South African cabinet post by her estranged husband. It's not... Mandela! Oh, that's right. Alright, pick again. Winnie Mandela, her husband. There. Wanted. The British cabinet meets with the Prime Minister at number 10 on this street. Where one? Well, it's Baker Street. Duh. Oh, huh. do you want the name? Uh, regrettably, no. What? This is a difficult board. You're asking me. Down in the Baker. Ah. Uh. All right, pick again. Oh well. Finish it. Uh -huh. Named for a European peninsula, it's the process of one country separating into hostile units. Anyone? Here is the correct response. Balkanization. Alright, take again. Well, we know what a daily double is. Try fasting for three. Answer. And there it is. Okay, we with we are still in the plus. I with two hundred. Well, player three is four hundred. Player five, uh, player two, five hundred. Try a hundred. It's a piece of net or tool attached to a hat that hangs down to cover the face. Player one. Okay, it's a piece of net or to attach to a hat that hangs down to cover the. face. I don't even really think of that that's a veil. Correct. Oh my god. That was a guess. An Inverness coat 
has a full length or half length detachable one. Buttons? No. I want Superman wears a cape. And to finish the board, Kathy Ireland designed an active wear line for this national discount store chain. The only thing I can think of is Kmart. Anybody? <laughs> Jesus Christ! All right, that's the end of the Jeopardy round. I did it again. Let's look at the total scores so far. Me, and my big mouth. Fuck me. Oh, and that was Troy. All right, players, get ready for double Jeopardy. Mm.